Okay, guys, I'm in Yokohama, which is right next to uh, Tokyo, and there is the uh, exposition called CP Plus, which is all about cameras, camera equipment, camera tech, lenses, etc., etc. And there are booths also for uh, telescopes, astrophotography, etc. And in particular, today I want to have a look at the Vixen booth, uh, because if you know the channel, you know I like a lot of the Vixen equipment, even though it's expensive in the United States. I also want to look at the Ascar slash uh, Sharpstar booth. I want to look at the ZW booth and see if I can get a little uh, interview with Sam, the founder and CEO of ZW. And I also want to look at Citron Japan, uh, which is one of the, the dealers of astrophotography equipment here in Japan, but they're also starting to make their own stuff. So I want to see what's there. Anyway, in this video, I will focus just on Vixen. Let's get going. Okay, so we're now at the Vixen stand. I know Vixen is not a super popular brand outside of Japan, but we have something very interesting here. This mount here is not released yet. They're actually not even planning on releasing it in 2025. They're planning, they're hoping for 2026. And it looks like, because it doesn't have any counterweight, looks like it would be a standard harmonic drive mount. And I'd be like, oh, finally, <laughs> right? Finally, Vixen is catching up and doing a harmonic drive mount. And Vixen is a brand that if you've watched the channel for a long time, you know I've used in the past and I actually really, really like. One of my favorite telescopes ever has been the R200SS, which is the Newtonian from Vixen. That does not require collimation effectively unless something goes really wrong. And so it's like, it's something I've always been wanting to use again. And this mount is very interesting. Why do you say it's not harmonic? Because let's have a look at the uh, motor itself. So this is the motor assembly that they have. We have a stepper there, not a servo, a stepper, and it's linked directly to the drive. And the drive has a reduction ratio apparently of one to 715 compared to, I don't remember the reduction ratios for strain wave gears. And let me show you how it moves because it's really interesting. I don't know if you can see, but you have like this metal thing here that vibrates back, back and forth. And that's what it causes it to move. If we go to the front, you can see the movement of the screw is actually really, really slow there. We have a huge reduction ratio uh, in there. And so that's a super, super interesting design that we have here. And I asked like, okay, what is the uh, meaning of that? What is the point compared to a strain wave gear mount uh, or harmonic drive mount? And it seems that they can make them smaller in terms of the drive itself, but also because there's nothing that is actually changing shape. In a harmonic drive, you have like part of the mechanics within is an oblong shape that moves around and changes the shape of another gear at the same time. And so that's why we don't get like a super good tracking accur accuracy. But with that, and the numbers are still being verified by Vixen, so we don't have any numbers yet, but it's possible that we could get a better periodic error than a harmonic drive mount or strain with gear mounts. Um, but still have the advantages of that. So it's a very interesting approach that uh, Vixen is taking there. And of course, the uh, the control center is their wireless unit here that also has uh, an auto guide port at the bottom that I think it can be controlled by ASA, Air, Nina, etc., etc. So very interesting stuff that we see here from Vixen. Okay, still at the Vixen booth, this is an other interesting offering that they have. Uh, this is finally a Petzval design for Vixen. Again, it's probably going to be like mostly for Japan, uh, but it's good to see some evolution there. It's also using, if you look at that, if I move the focus, nothing on the telescope moves. This is just like the Red Cats or the uh, William Optics WIFD, WFID. I'd never remember what's the name, but it is an internal focuser. When you do that, nothing moves. And so pet file design, you can just like use it as is. And by default, it is uh, 65 millimeters aperture with a focal length of 360 millimeters. And it, so it is f5.5, but you can actually pair it with a reducer that uh, puts it at f4.4. And the reducer has a back focus of 55 millimeters. Uh, so that's interesting, dual kind of uh, purpose, f5.5, f4.4. And uh, at f5.5, it supports full frame uh, cameras with the reducer, it only supports APS-C, but it's still APS-C. And I'll put the, the, the specs on the screen because we have specs for this as well. Okay, and that's it for the Vixen stand. It was actually quite interesting to see. I'm uh, really actually uh, looking forward to that new mount with a new mount technology. Uh, again, Vixen trying to do things differently. 
and I will love to hear your thoughts about like this new mount that is not harmonic drive, but kind of looks and feels like harmonic drive, but it isn't and might give us more tracking precision than standard strain wave gears. Uh, so very, very interesting. Let me know down what you think about that in the comments. I'll be super interested to see your thoughts uh, while you're there. Don't forget to like the video. And if you want to support the channel even more and you're planning on buying anything from Amazon, Agena, High Point Scientific, First Act Optics, etc., if you do so after clicking one of the links in the description, it will help me out at no cost to you. And of course, if you want to sponsor the channel directly, you can become a channel member. It's the join button next to the subscribe button or a Patreon supporter. The link to subscribe is down in the description. Some of my Patreon ranks have access to my videos early and without ads. Guys, this is a privilege. Thank you so much for your support. Anyway, with that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.